So now in this video, we wired up the 555 timer. Basically, it's an inverter. You can see I got the trim pot set to uh, 6 volts. That's what I'm using to uh, make the math easy in this video. And so positive supply, you can see the blue LED is lit up, which means we have the uh, negative supply right there, a low uh, output to light the blue LED. If I turn the trim pot towards the negative supply, now you see the red LED lights up. And uh, so we got the output. Now the output's high. It's about 3.5 or about 4.5 volts. I mean, you lose about a volt and a half. But in any case, it's lighting up the LED going to ground. And uh, so, but the output is high. That's the main thing. Positive supply, even though the trim pot's to ground. And uh, there's a middle ground region, though. As you can see, that's what makes this a Schmidt trigger. That's hysteresis, where it could be either uh, high or low. You have to go to one extreme or the other to switch it. So we're given our uh, signal there. These inputs don't take any current, but pin six is waiting for two thirds of the supply voltage or more. So that's four volts since we're using six. And then it sets the output low, blue LED lights up. And then if we lower the voltage down to uh, one third of the supply or less, so two volts or less when you're using uh, six volts, that'll set the output high. Again, that uh, has to go through a couple of transistors and so you don't get the full supply voltage. You get about 4.5 volts out if you are using uh, six. But in between that one third and two thirds uh, supply, the output will just stay uh, whatever it is until you overcome the other threshold uh, voltage of one third or two thirds 